So, Kimberly, tell me what you've been up to these days. It sounds like you have a quite an exciting life going on now. <laughs> well, um, gosh, where do I start when you say what's going on in life? There's a lot going on. Yay! <laughs> now life is really good. Um, personally, I'm getting married. Yay! Um, so I'm getting married in a uh, year and a half in 2023. So that's exciting. And we're starting to do that. But, you know, professionally in my music career, um, I've actually, I'm releasing two projects this year. One's already been released. It was a lullaby album that came out on Mother's Day. And now I'm gearing up to release my second full length Christmas album. All right. That's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me a little bit first about the lullaby album that came out on Mother's Day. You know, I, I've never done anything in the children's space, um, but one of my really good friends, one of my best friends, he's a school teacher and he teaches music and he loves it. And, you know, once upon a time, you know, he was auditioning for Broadway and things of that nature. And I, I've been wanting to do something with him, uh, work on a project. And I said, you know what, let's do a children's album. You know, let's start with a lullaby album and see what happens because he's really into music education. And we both believe in music education and we believe that music is important to children and to learning, you know. Um, so we created this really sweet body of work and I just, I couldn't be more proud of it. Um, I had some watercolor graphics done um, for all the songs and it's just so sweet. And it's titled, You're My Baby, um, which is the title of one of the original songs that Mike and I wrote together. That's so beautiful. Uh, I just became an auntie for the first time myself yes. and my sister's gum had a baby in May actually. Right. So yeah, I'm going to definitely get her this album because yeah, I, just, and it's, it's funny out of it. I like you, I have, you know, some nieces and nephews, but I don't have any children of my own. And I just thought, you know, it's, it's an album for everybody. You know, I love being an auntie. Um, like I'm going home to see my nephew uh, soon. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, he's going to be stuck to you like glue. And I'm like, yeah, that's what aunties are for. Exactly. Right. <laughs> that's exactly what we do. Like, yeah. Exactly. So cute. So cute. So how many nieces and nephews do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, so, oh, two nieces and two nephews and they have children also okay <laughs> so, okay some of them have children not all of them but some of them have children so there's more <laughs> gotcha that's incredible what a great yeah. life to have yeah nice and well what about this new christmas album that you were talking about tell me a little bit about that so the new christmas album is gonna come out on september 30th and uh again you know, it's been a while. I'm an independent artist. So yes. I was signed to a record deal um, when I first started in after American Idol in 2003. Um, but now I'm an independent artist and I have been an independent artist for a while. So um, putting together these projects can be daunting, you know, and the Christmas album is not any different um, than any other project. You know, when you set out to do a project, you know, you got to see it through to the end. And there's sometimes, sometimes you get in the middle and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can finish, you know? And so we finished and we are in the process of finalizing all of the songs and we've already released the single um, the single is titled Christmas is Here, and we're just, I'm really excited um, about the overall project. I partnered with a band out of Brooklyn called EMP3, and they're amazing musicians. So I just, I really can't wait to share it with everyone. Nice. Is it all original Christmas music? Are you covering some of the classics or a little bit of both? Oh my gosh, if it were all originals, I would not have made it. <laughs> There are some originals. It's about 50-50, you know, some of the songs that you know. What I try to do, what I really love is that there's so much music out there that we are not familiar with, right? So it's not new, you know, but it's also not the standard music or the standard Christmas songs that we hear all the time. So there are some obscure Christmas songs in there and Christmas is Here is one of those. Um, I don't think a lot of people know that song. No, I never heard it, but I'm excited to hear your version of it. I'm really, really yeah. excited about that. So Christmas is Here was originally recorded by Donna Summer. 
And oh, okay, okay. Know that. Yeah, so I'm really excited to kind of honor her and, you know, her musical career and, you know, her holiday album and uh, to put a new spin on it. That's incredible. And uh, do you have any other writing or recording going on? Um, always recording, always writing. Um, on this album, I worked with a young lady who is an up and coming artist and her name is Liv. And we wrote an original song together. She's super talented. And I look forward to working with her on a project once we get past Christmas. Nice. nice. Oh, that's, and, and there's something else. Oh my yes, God, I totally, yes. I totally forgot. So I went back to my original record label, Curb Records, and I am releasing, they're releasing a greatest hits album on me, which I chuckled a little bit because who, I don't even, I didn't know I was, you know, had enough material for a greatest hits, but I do. So they're releasing a greatest hits and I just went in and recorded a new single called Keep Falling in Love uh, with Dave Auday and Andreas Moss. And that's going to be coming out soon. Oh, wow. Good for you. What other songs do we expect to hear on there? Or is that going to be a surprise? I have no idea. As a matter of fact, I was on Twitch this morning with Dave because he does like a, a dance thing in the, on Tuesday morning and I was dancing in the kitchen and we were chatting and all that stuff. It was a lot of fun. But he was telling me some stuff during that chat. I was like, you know way more than me because I know nothing. So I have no idea what's happening with that project, but I'm excited. I'm excited for you. That's Thank really you. wonderful. That's great. And who are some people that inspire you as an artist? Oh my gosh. You know, there's so many people, you know, um, a perfect example is, you know, I, if you are on my social media the other day, um, I performed at Birdland and, um, after the show, you know, there were videos and there were photographs and, the videos and the photographs that were posted by people that I don't even know, like they inspire me, right? Because we all have, you know, some of us don't know it, but we all have a gift, you know, and some of us are very tuned into our gifts. And I was, I, I thanked both of them because if they weren't pursuing their gift, I would not have gotten to see myself the way that they captured me. And the photographs and the videos are stunning. They're stunning. So I get inspired by people in general who are artists, who are following their passion and what, you know, gives them joy. It's so important. And, you know, I have my, my people that inspire me in the industry. Like I'm a huge Etta James fan. Um, her music inspired me and really kind of you know, shaped me into the singer and the artist that I am. Of course, you know, I can't not mention Aretha Franklin and Patti LaBelle and Whitney Houston and Diana Ross and Janet Jackson and Judy Garland, huge influence on my life and, and my musical life. So it's, there's just so much, and there's so many places to draw inspiration from. And, um, you know, I think there's a lot of inspiring people out there and who don't even know that they're inspiring people. That is so true. And I absolutely agree with you. And you do have that diva powerhouse kind of voice and look. Yeah. So I think it's Thank you. you're going to be up there with them one day. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. One of those powerhouse ladies. I love it. Yeah. And if you could collaborate with anyone on your, one of your new albums, who would you want to collaborate with? <laughs> So somebody asked me this, uh, you know, and, and I think somebody asked me this a very long time ago, but my answer hasn't changed. <laughs> I want to work with Eminem so bad. Like I would love to collaborate with him. And I know you're like, what? <laughs> it's true. I want to work with that would be incredible. I could, I could see it happening. That could be really interesting to see. Yeah, I think again, he is so talented, um, you know, totally different genre from me, different, you know, category, whatever, doesn't matter. So inspired by his ability to tell a story, you know, yes. and that's kind of, that's kind of what we all are, right? Whether you are blogging or taking photographs or, you know, videography, writing music, writing shows, you are telling a story. And I just believe that he's a really great storyteller. 
Absolutely. And I can't wait to see that collaboration. See this thing behind me? I'm throwing it into the universe. That's right. right. Put it, I'm pushing it out into the universe. Yes. There we go. Yes. In the universe <laughs> like now. Yes. Yeah, I like that. And one thing I like to ask people at interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself. Ooh, a fun fact about me. Um, well, a lot of people don't know this. I ride a motorcycle. Oh, nice. What um, kind? It's, it's one of those things that I love to do. I had a, my most recent motorcycle was a, um, a 749 Ducati and I sold it because I want to get a Harley. Nice. And I got to find the right one for me. So, um, but that's one of the things I love. I love to, um, I love to ride. My, I grew up, my family rides. So that's just one of those things that we do. And it's so great. Wonderful. Yeah. My brother's real, my brother-in-law is really big into uh, motorcycles. He actually, actually has a picture of the baby on his lap posing on next to the motorcycle. And oh, yeah. you this thing. I remember, I know my dad did the same thing. I'm sure he got yelled at by my mom, but you know, it, you start them early, right? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's going to love it too. I, know, I just yeah. know it. Absolutely. And since we covered TV, what are you watching on TV these days? Oh my gosh. Um, so we watched Outlander. My fiance yes, yes. and I loved that one. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And now we're watching, we're finishing up Queen because I, uh, I'm sorry, The Crown. I started watching The Crown and then I stopped and now we're watching that again. Um, and then we just watched um, Manifest which is really good. I really enjoyed it. And we, my fiance is insisting, insisting that I watch Game of Thrones. So we started watching that the other night. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. You're going to like it. Yeah. You're going to like it. I won't root yeah. it for you, but you're going to ruin it. it. Yeah. Don't ruin it. Cause he keeps, he, uh, he's always pausing it and telling him like, you're going to ruin it. Like, if you're going to tell me about it, then I'm not watching it. <laughs> yes. Did he read the books too, or just the TV show? Well, I don't think he, he is an avid reader. Um, he reads a lot, but I don't think he read those books. Um, but he did, he watched it and, and he loves it. He thinks it's awesome. It's a little barbaric for me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I should read the books and maybe I'll enjoy the books more. Yeah, maybe. It's pretty gruesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but good. I mean, you know, I, I do love things like that where, you know, they're period pieces, right? So that right, right, right. costuming and, and that's why I like The Crown and that's why I like Outlander. Um, I just, the costuming and the set design, like, I just want to know, like, how many people work on that team? How much did it cost to put that together? How did you do it? Which parts of the set are real and which one, which parts are CGI? Like, I just want to know all of it. It's very fascinating to me. It really is. I, yeah. I absolutely agree. And uh, one thing, another thing I like to ask people lately is what's your guilty pleasure TV show? Mm. Oh, my guilty pleasure is Bob's Burger, man. <laughs> That's so I'm cute. A yeah. I love Bob's Burger. <laughs> it's like Bob's Burger is like my lullaby before I go to bed like I watch it I'm so happy and I go to sleep I get some laughs in I like to laugh at the end of the day and you know really just kind of let go whatever happened and, and just end it on a good positive note and Bob's always helps me to helps me to do that absolutely I have to do that too it's usually for me psych or golden girls oh okay gotcha yeah <laughs> And if you haven't seen Psych, I absolutely recommend it. Okay. All right. I'll add that to our list because we have a list of things that we want to watch. Yes. It's on Peacock, I believe. And then it's on Amazon Prime as well. Okay. Yeah, I definitely recommend that. And where can we follow you on social media? If people aren't already following, which they should be because they're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it is, all of them are the same. It's at Kimberly Lock. It's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-E-Y-L-O-C-K-E. All right. I'll make sure you all get follows. Thank you for your time today. I appreciate you and good luck with everything. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.